This is Midweek Politics with Dave Pakman. Hey, welcome back to the show. I'm talking to Tara Tatro and Candace Connors from Jackson and Connor. Thank you for being here. We're here to talk about a lot of different stuff. And at the top of that list is when a politician's image can destroy their campaign. And we've seen it with the Hillary pantsuit, which I'm not a big fan <laughs> of. And I know your specialty is more in men's clothing, of course, from Jackson and Connor in downtown Northampton. I want to run through some examples in a second, but why is it okay that image matters so much for politics or should it be all issues? Um, I think it's definitely okay for image to matter so much. I think it's human nature for people to associate what someone looks like and um, reference, you know, class, money, knowledge, all of that. There's been studies that have shown that uh, your first impression are linked to those things. And it seems like we kind of saw that with Scott Brown, right? I mean, not that p pink leather shorts are a great first impression. <laughs> or being naked. Or being naked. Fortunately, there were no, and Lewis, I don't, we, we should just tap her mic to make sure it's on. Um, it, it's not, uh, that wasn't the picture that people saw. People saw this kind of very clean cut uh, Scott Brown, and it may have been part of why he won, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's go through some of these. Uh, we're going to put these up on the screen for our TV viewers. Barney Frank, someone that our audience is very familiar with. He has good days and he has he has bad days. So tell me first the bad of Barney Frank. What's he doing wrong here? All and, right. And let me describe it. He's wearing what I can only call a thin 80s tie, maybe, <laughs> and a shirt that seems to be a couple of sizes too big. Yes. Yeah. I, I think that skinny ties are really for skinnier, younger people. I mean, larger men, more portly men. It's the, the tie sort portly. of helps. Portly, yes. <laughs> okay. Helps, helps you not look so large, and it sort of fills out the shirt a little bit better than a skinny tie does. And of course, you know, when you see the picture, you'll notice that the tie is also too short, again, making him look and appear bigger than he is, um, as well as the shirt. Like you said, being like two sizes too big. Um, you also notice he's wearing a button-down collar, which is going to make his neck look even bigger. Um, so he's just overall making himself appear larger than he needs to be. So this isn't, this isn't, and I think Barney Frank would agree. I think he has a good sense of humor. The last thing he wants is to appear any larger than <laughs> right. he is in real life. What about the good Barney Frank? All right, the good Barney Frank, he's got a nice uh, chalk stripe suit on with vertical lines that are going to make him appear slimmer. Um, again, he's got a, uh, now he's wearing a widespread collar on his dress shirt, so it makes, it balances out his neck and his overall size, as well as his tie is not, as you said, an 80s skinny tie. I don't, I don't know if that's a technical term for it, but when I see that, I think 80s. So Tara, how about Ken Salazar, who he's a former senator. He's now a Barack Obama's interior secretary. I guess, I don't know if he's from the South or from the Midwest or, or from Montana, but he, the bad here, I don't even know what you call that thing. That's where a tie would go. What is that? <laughs> it's, um, it, it's a Western tie. They, uh, they wear it a lot in Texas. Um, and you know, I, I'm not sure where, where he's at or, or who he's speaking to, but you know, it's, it's just a very dressed down sort of a look, a very sort of Texan sort of look. And it seems more of an appeal to, I mean, with the hat and the, and the Western tie, that's more for a, a, a rural audience. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, this was actually, I believe, taken at one of the Democratic conventions. Oh, good. Um, so not a place you want to be wearing a, you know, a cowboy hat and western tie. And, and then the good, the good Ken Salazar seems to be wearing just kind of like a basic suit. Doesn't stand out too much, right? Is that what, what's yeah. good about his look there? Well, I mean, his it's definitely a, a more a calm look, a more put together look. You know, he looks like he actually um, is dressed professionally and and ready to deal with. Um, his constituents in politics rather than like go to a hoedown. Yeah, you know? or uh, uh, wrestle some cattle or something yeah. like that. <laughs> wrestle so, up some cattle. Charlie Rangel, he's been at the center of a lot of controversy recently between um, being involved and in taking strange gifts and vacations that who knows who is paying for them. He Let's look at the bad first here. Number one, it's never good to be photographed in front of a troopsoutnow.org sign. Those signs, <laughs> it's just, it's no matter who you're appealing to, those signs don't help. But what is he even wearing in this picture? He he's what's wearing what's known as the Canadian tuxedo in our industry. It's the full denim, the denim jacket, the denim shirt, and the denim pants. I've seen Lewis wear that before on first dates, and I told him, do, do not do that. Lewis. And that's lies. why date number two didn't happen. Lies, all lies. At this, at, admittedly, he was living in West Virginia at the time, near, near one of our affiliates there, and it went great. So that's not, that's the Canadian tuxedo. Yes, um, and again, you know, it's just, anytime you want to be taken serious, a jean jacket, 
with, again, a jean shirt underneath isn't necessarily <laughs> the attire that you want, especially with rock aware going across the chest. And then how about the, the Tara, the good Charlie Rangel, looking very dapper with some a purple or pink shirt there? No. Nope. Oh, no, that... That's another bad one. Oh, that's bad. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, wow. This, See, I thought that was good. Looking. Over <laughs> this one was this one was great because he was over accessorizing. Oh, I mean, I there's see. just like way too much going on. This this one we felt like we should bring in just to kind of say that even though you're put together and you're looking very nicely accessorized, there is a point where let's see a tie bar, a tie, um, clip, tie the clip, the the pocket square, the the handkerchief in the in the suit. It's you you know, and then the polka dot tie with the striped shirt. It's like whoa. Well, I apologize. I thought thought that that was a good one. Um, Okay, so let's actually go to the good Charlie Rangel. (laughs) Looking very calm. See, See, this is why we're here. It doesn't look that different, I have to admit. But no, I see he doesn't have the tie bar and the whole thing. What? Your fashion sense speaks for itself. It seems to be off a little. Believe me, Louis, you're on here. We're going to address you in a second. Midweek Politics is brought to you in part by Jackson and Connor, classically modern men's apparel in Northampton, Massachusetts, on the second floor of Thorns Marketplace, and by DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com. Mm-hmm.